Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be working on this interesting differential equation using Lambert W function, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is solve for y is equal to y of x. Then we have y to the power of dy over dx is equal to e to the power of x. For this differential equation, we'll be using Lambert W function at the end to get the final answer. So what I'm going to do first is I'll be applying natural log on the left and right hand side. Then we can rewrite this equation as now ln y to the power of dy over dx. That is equal to ln e to the power of x. Then it is just going to be ln y times dy over dx. That is now equal to just dx. Okay, then we can multiply dx on both sides. So we should have ln y dy is now equal to x dx. Then we can work on the antiderivative on the left and the right hand side using integrants by parts. So we can easily set your u is now ln y. So that's why u prime is now 1 over y. And then your v prime has to be equal to just a 1. So that's why your v is then equal to antiderivative of 1 dy, which has to be equal to just a y. This has to be the starting point. Okay, so that is why based on this, we can work on now ln y now times y. That's minus antiderivative of now y times 1 over y, and we have dy. Okay, then let's keep working on this. It should be just the ln y times y, and then minus antiderivative of 1 dy. So that is why we can now rewrite this as ln y times y, now minus y. Okay. okay, at the same time, this antiderivative of x now dx, which is the right hand side of your equation, it is only going to be equal to x now square over 2 plus this constant term c. Okay, now the ln y times y minus y has to be the left-hand side of the equation. And then this x squared over 2 plus c has to be the right side of the equation. They should be equal to each other. So that's why we can say ln y times y minus y should be equal to x now squared over 2 plus constant term c. Okay, then let's talk about this left-hand side of the equation. So the left-hand side of the equation, let's talk about it. It should be now just um, ln y then to the power of the y using the simple log property. And then that minus y, we can represent this as now the ln e to the power of the y. Also, we can rewrite this into the single log term that is ln of now y to the power of y over e to the power of y. Okay, then this is going to be just equal to ln of now then y over e to the power of the y. Okay, so the left hand side of the equation is now rewritten as ln of y over e to the power of y. So that's why now your equation has to be ln of now y over e to the power of y. That is now equal to the right hand side that is still x now square over 2 plus constant term c. Okay, then make sure to remember that we'll be using Lambert W function. So that's why I'll be multiplying 1 over e to the left and the right hand side. Then we should have now 1 over e times ln of y over e to the power of y. That is now equal to x now square over 2e plus, okay, the second constant term, let me call that as the c1, right? Okay, then we can rewrite this as now. Now this is going to be y over e. That times now ln of y over e. That is now still equal to this x squared over 2e plus c1. Okay, now let's think about this y over e, right? So y over e could be rewritten as now then e to the power of ln of y over e. So that's why using this, we can rewrite your left-hand side of the equation because we wanted to use the Lambert W function. 
Okay, so that's why the left hand side has to be then e to the power of now ln of y over e. That times now ln of now then e to the power of ln of y over e. Okay, that is now equal to the right hand side of the equation, which is now x squared over 2e plus c1. Okay, so that's why now you have this ln of y over e. That is going to be just equal to the Lambert W of x squared over 2e. Now plus c1. Since we're looking for the y as y of x, right? So that's why we can rewrite y over e is then going to be equal to e to the power of now lambda w of x squared over 2e plus constant term c1. So that's why we can present the final answer. y is going to be just equal to now e to the power of, okay, let me make a bracket. Inside of it, we should have now the 1 and then plus lambda w of x squared over 2e plus this constant term c1. So this is your final answer for the question. Okay, so pretty interesting differential equation using Lambert W function. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.